Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain how to execute your Selenium automation scripts on Internet Explorer browser. That is IE11 browser. Let me practically show you. For this, we have to open this Eclipse IDE. So in this Eclipse IDE, I have created a Maven project already. And this Maven project is already configured with these two things. That is Selenium Java and WebDriver Manager. So in order to configure this Maven project with this Selenium Java and WebDriver Manager, I have added the dependency tags of Selenium Java and also the dependency tags of WebDriver Manager here. Okay, I have taken the latest stable version of Selenium Java that is available as of today and also the latest stable version of WebDriver Manager as of today. Once the project is configured with the Selenium Java and WebDriver Manager, I will right click on this package which is under this SRC test Java like this and select new class i'll create a sample class so you can give any name here i just gave demo and in this class i will select to add this public static void main code fine this main method should be there by default fine now inside this main method inside this main method i will write some sample selenium automation code for executing on which browser IE browser guys, okay. On IE browser, I want to run this Selenium automation code. So that sample automation code I will be writing. So let me write something like this: Web driver, driver is equal to new Internet, okay, Explorer browser. If you want to Internet Explorer driver, okay. If you want to run your automation scripts on IE browser, you have to create object for this Internet Explorer driver class. Now hold the mouse on Web driver. And import this web driver interface over the mouse and Internet Explorer driver import this class. Now before this statement, I'll add web driver manager dot IE driver dot setup. Okay. So without adding this line, if you run this automation script, this will fail, guys. Okay. This will fail. So we need to have the IE driver also. That's why we need to add this line. After that, I'll say driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. I'll write some sample code. Like driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly wait. I'll give 10 seconds of time, time waiting time, time unit dot seconds. Fine. Once this is done, I'll try to automate something. What I want to automate, I would like to go to this tutorials ninja dot com slash demo application and then search for iPhone here. That's it. This is only what I want to automate. I would like to go to this application URL. And just type iPhone into the search box field. Only this part. So for going to this application page, I will say driver dot get. I will paste the URL. Okay, to which I need to go. And after that, I need to type iPhone text into the search box field. For that, I will inspect the search box field like this, and uh, I will copy this name value. Okay, name attribute value of the search box field that is search. So here I will say driver dot okay find element by dot name by dot name. Here I'll provide the value and say dot send keys. What I want to search for iPhone. I'll type iPhone here. Here I would like to type iPhone. So I want to automate typing of iPhone into the search box field. So I automated like the same way. Fine. Now at the end, I would like to simply close the browser, guys. Okay, nothing more than this. This sample Selenium automation script I would like to run on the IE browser. So by default, I didn't change any, I didn't do any changes to my IE browser, guys. Okay. So this is my IE Internet Explorer browser. So I didn't do any changes for this IE browser. Okay, it is as it is in my system. Okay. Now if I run my sample Selenium automation code, will this Selenium automation code really work or not? Let's find it out first. Okay. Right click here and say run as Java application. So let's see till where our automation script will work. Whether our automation script will run properly on the IE browser or not. Let's see. So there is some exception coming already. Okay, there is something session not created. Okay, unexpected launching Internet Explorer protected mode settings are not there. Okay, it's saying something is okay. There are few things that we need to change in the IE browser. Our script is not getting executed guys. simple terms in simple terms. This sample automation script should run on IE browser, but it's not happening. Instead, we are getting some exceptions. The reason is before running some sample automation script on IE browser, you need to do some changes to your IE browser. By default, you cannot run your Selenium automation scripts on IE browser, guys. Okay. So let's open the IE browser and let's do some changes one by one. What are the different changes that we have to do? Let's find it out. Okay. 
so here my i browser this is my i browser what is the version to find out the version i have to select this menu bar enable this menu bar and go to help and select above internet explorer what is my version guys i browser i 11 browser version fine my i is of i 11 browser version so what are the different changes i have to do in order to find out the different changes that i need to do for this default i browser in my machine before running this automation code so for that i need to go to this page official website of selenium that is selenium dot dev okay we have to go to this selenium dot dev go to this downloads option okay downloads page and scroll down completely until you see something like browsers here click on this browsers here you see ie browser internet explorer and under this they are saying only version 11 is supported our browser version is 11 so no issues and it requires some additional configuration what are the different configurations that we need to do for this ie browser before running our automation scripts on uh, ie browser so for that we have to click on this configuration guys it will take us to some page let's go to that configuration page here these are the required configurations we need to do to the ie browser before running our automation scripts fine so first line we have to set up the path to the ie driver so you don't have to set up this first line guys because we already added this web driver manager dot ie driver dot setup this will take care of that okay this will take care of this first line no need to worry about the first line now let's move to the second line in second line they are saying they are saying we have to go to the tools menu and go to the internet options and uh, go to the security and check whether all these four items okay for all these four options that is internet local intranet trusted sites and restricted sites okay for for this for these four options this enable protected mode should not be selected i am i am unchecking this option for this internet after that i will select local intranet and i will check whether this enable protected mode is selected or not it's not selected that's fine then i will go to trusted sites here it is selected guys if it is selected i have to uncheck then restricted sites it's not selected no issues okay i have to make sure that all this for all these four options this checkbox should not be selected then i have to say apply and uh, say okay okay that's it okay that's the first thing then again i have to go to tools internet option this time instead of security tab i have to go to advanced tab in un, inside the advanced tab i have to go down and find this option known as enable enable option enable enhanced security option i have to find okay let's go down first to check that option you see enable enhanced protected mode option this option should not be selected guys if it is selected you just uncheck it okay this option should not be in selected mode verify that this option should not be there in this is currently not selected that's fine guys say okay okay two steps are done two steps are second step is done guys okay third step is also done this option is not selected then guys we have to go to the third option this uh, fourth uh, point that is browser zoom level must be set to 100 percent we have to cross check that whether the browser zoom level you see this is ie browser and if i click on the settings icon i will get the zoom level here currently this ie browser version uh, ie browser is set to 100 percent so no issues this is also satisfied okay 100 percent is also satisfied if your operating system is windows 10 my operating system is windows 10 guys okay this is windows 10 operating system then you have to see whether this particular thing that is uh, this particular option is set to 100 percent how to do that go to your desktop okay and right click here select display settings after selecting the display settings uh, you will get this display screen where you will see this option change the size of text apps and other items so we have to make sure that this is 100 percent okay if this is 100 percent this is also done okay that point is also done now next thing for ie 11 only if your ie browser is ie 11 my ie browser is ie 11 version only so in that case in that case we have to add this particular thing to our registry item okay registry this should be there in our registry guys this part should be there in the registry let me explain how to do all this uh, okay so first of all what is your windows uh, windows os uh, version it is 64 bit or 32 bit my windows is 64 bit my windows is 64 bit how can i find out i'll go to one of my folders and uh, I can right click on this PC and say properties. You see, I'll get all this stuff. Okay, so my thing is 64 bit operating system. So since my thing is 64 bit operating system, I have to add this particular key to my registry. How to add this particular key to the registry? Let me explain. Here, guys, type for registry. 
okay when you type for registry you will get this registry editor option click on this registry editor option i i am being asked whether you want to select yes or no for user user access control i am selecting yes guys okay fine i got this registry guys i got this registry now under this registry under this registry so from where uh, this is the path guys we have to go to this particular path first thing is hk local machine find hk local machine out of all these things this is hp hk local machine so expand that under that we have to find the software this is software expand the software if it is not expanded okay under software we have to find wow 6432 node so where is that this is wow 6432 node under this wow 6432 node we have to go to microsoft just select microsoft okay we have to find microsoft expand this microsoft under microsoft we have to find internet explorer so we have to find internet explorer like this okay then expand this internet explorer under internet explorer we have to expand this main we have to expand this main under main we have to expand future control this feature control okay under main we have to expand this feature control under feature control we have to find this feature bf cache okay and before finding this they are saying that if you don't find this feature bf cache at this particular place then they are asking to add it guys okay you have to create if this particular thing is not there at this particular path you have to create this they are saying okay so here you see bf cache is not there guys so let's create it right click on this feature control say new say key okay and give the name as feature fea ture underscore bf cache okay you have to give this name that's it by default under this feature under this feature bf cache nothing is there only default is there right so but they are saying we have to create a d word okay d word we have to create another key inside this bf cache we have to right click here somewhere and select new d d word 32 bit okay select this option and what is the name we have to give for this uh, d word we have to give something like i explore dot exe i explore dot exe we have to give and press enter so now for this i explore dot exe d word it should have the value as zero so right click on this say modify and you should find the value as zero if you don't find zero just change it to zero and say okay that's it guys this registry entry is also done now each and every step we did guys okay what are all the changes that we have to do for i11 browser we did everything in our machine now close everything and go to your automation code now you can close this ie browser okay now go to your automation code and run it and see whether this is working now or not right click run as job application after doing all the changes to the ie browser this should work guys okay this particular script should work this time it should work so let's see that okay you see it's typing some text into that you see it went to this uh, tutorialsinja.com/demo and typing the text into this search box field sometimes it may take some time guys okay sometimes while typing some text okay anyhow it identified this uh, search box field and it's typing some text slowly it's typing slowly that's okay sometimes it will type fast sometimes it will type slow that doesn't matter but it is able to type the text so we have to make sure this complete automation script is working or not okay currently it is typing the iphone text into this search box field and the ie browser got closed so our script got properly executed on the ie11 browser so this is all about how to do the changes to the ie11 browser so that your selenium automation scripts will run on the ie11 browser guys so that's it guys thank you bye